Uh, you spoke to Jurgen Klopp earlier. What, what update did he give you on the fitness of the squad overall? Well, importantly, it does look like Jurgen Klopp is getting some of his uh, more important players and his longer-term injury absentees back to full fitness for what is a crucial stage of the season. The game's coming thick and fast for Liverpool with them playing virtually every three or four days from now until the end of the campaign. Next up, it is Atalanta. You can see the players training here at Liverpool's training complex in uh, Kirby. And it's that Europa League game quarter-final first leg tomorrow evening. And players such as Jota, Trent Alexander-Arnold and Alisson are back in full training. Uh, so, first of all, let's take a look at a couple of those players who have been returning from injury. Uh, Diogo Jota, certainly one of them. And he last played, in fact, on the 17th of February at Brentford. And he has scored 14 goals in 28 appearances this season, so he could be a very important player for Liverpool. And only 18 of those 28 appearances have been starts. So, given the chances that Liverpool have been missing of late, they could do with him back. He actually, in fact, scored a hat-trick against Atalanta, Liverpool's opponents tomorrow, back in November of 2020 when they last met. What about Trent Alexander-Arnold? Well, his last game came on the 10th of February in that 3-1 win over Burnley. And certainly Conor Bradley has been excellent in his absence, but he's such a big player for Liverpool, isn't he? Klopp will certainly welcome his return. Although he did state earlier today in the media conference that he won't rush these players back. He does need them in good shape and they need to reintegrate them. So no decision as yet on whether they play any part tomorrow evening. And that includes Alisson, whose last game was in that... 3-1 defeat at Arsenal back on the 4th of February. Um, one stat which really stood out from the, the weekend, uh, Alan, Liverpool 28 shots on goal against Manchester United. I mean, surely taking their chances is critical if they are going to, to win more trophies this campaign. Yeah, it's been quite incredible and well-documented, hasn't it? According to the Optus stats, I can tell you that Liverpool have taken just 41% of their big chances created this season. Liverpool stand 11th in that league table in that particular stat, with the likes of Luton, Newcastle and Arsenal above them. In fact, Liverpool have had the most big chances of any team in the Premier League with 105 and the most shots of any team with 449, which is way above the second highest of Manchester City on 383. So you'd have to say there's a bit of room for improvement, which leads us to take a look at the likes of Mo Salah, Darwin Nunez and Luis Diaz. Mo Salah, in particular, Guilty of a few missed opportunities on Sunday at Old Trafford, although he has yet again hit that 20 goal mark this season. 23 goals this campaign, and four of those have come in the Europa League. And plenty asking more questions about Darwin Nunez, who has 18 goals but has misfired a little of late. And again, in terms of the Europa League, five of those 18 goals have come in this competition. So I think Jurgen Klopp will be hoping that uh, he can find the back of the net again tomorrow evening, along with uh, Luis Diaz, who has 13 goals in 42 appearances this season. Uh, 34 of those 42 appearances have been starts and uh, he would welcome another goal or two for Liverpool as they take on the Italians tomorrow night, the Italian side who are currently six in Serie A, but have lost three of the last six league games. So uh, Liverpool will be hoping they can get the better of them. Just thinking about the opposite end of the pitch for, for Liverpool, Alan, they've failed to keep a clean sheet in their last seven games. Any temptation there for Jurgen Klopp to, to change his defence for tomorrow? Yeah, it has been a little bit of a problem for Liverpool this season, conceding goals, uh, as you say, seven games since they last managed to stop the opposition from scoring. And I suppose there was a big focus on uh, Gerald Quance's costly mistake, really, on Sunday, which allowed Manchester United back into the game. Let's credit Bruno Fernandes with the finish. But uh, will that uh, see Jurgen Klopp consider reverting to Ibrahima Konate alongside Virgil van Dijk. Now, Konate started the league game against Sheffield United at Anfield last Thursday, but then, to quite a few people's surprise at Old Trafford, he did opt for uh, Kwanzaa alongside Virgil van Dijk. I don't think there's any 
um, problem in that Van Dijk will certainly start this game tomorrow. But uh, the question is, who will he have as his partner alongside him? And it's a European game, of course, and keeping a clean sheet in that first leg will be so important to uh, Liverpool. Uh, Atalanta can be pretty strong on home soil, so Liverpool will be looking to take an advantage over to Italy a week tomorrow. And the atmosphere inside Anfield could be a little different tomorrow. Um, we heard today that uh, the supporters' groups have got together to ensure there will be no flags on the cop tomorrow evening, uh, given the hike in season ticket prices. So it's a little bit of a protest, which uh, Jurgen Klopp certainly understands and hopes that uh, in the end will be resolved. But Liverpool looking to get immediately back on track and back to winning ways by getting the better of Atalanta tomorrow at Anfield. It's their 50th game of this campaign, incidentally, in all, and they're seeking their 250th win in European football.